and I think there was a, a podcast between a couple of brothers who have a lot of good in some issues, uh, um, namely uh, brother uh, Daniel Hakikachu and brother uh, Gabriel Arrumani. Um, uh, brother Daniel uh, has a lot of good to offer in this regard, uh, but has uh, some serious issues when it comes to takfir and when it comes to uh, the Muslim rulers, and when it comes to the methodology of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah in dealing with those subjects. And uh, I, I, it is my duty uh, to make that clear because I have defended him in the past uh, on multiple occasions in the context of the Yaqeen Institute dilemma with Tahir White and, and, and so on and so forth. And while I defended him and I continue to defend him in certain areas of his unapolog unapologetic approach to da'wah or to you know uh, uphold the the Muslim uh, legislation and and being a, a promoter of that, being proud of that, being does not shy away from confrontation with atheists and with feminists and with so on and so forth. That's something that is absolutely needed, absolutely praiseworthy, absolutely beautiful, and I respect him abundantly for that. Yet, yet I have some fundamental issues with uh, some of the teachers that he studied with or he studies with and he quotes um, some of the posts that he posts online that are of dubious nature, unverified news, anything that is, that is uh, uh, you know, ill, any ill speech or any ill information about uh, Muslim rulers and Muslim countries. He's very hasty in putting that out to the public. Um, sometimes he apologizes when it's, he's told multiple times of multiple people, yo, that's not even true. Uh, uh, you know, and, and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he keeps it up. He gives a little explanation or disclaimer. And he, he insists on these uh, abhorrent, uh, erroneous uh, posts and decisions he has against Muslim rulership. I've had private discussions with him on, on the subject, which were not uh, fruitful, nor were they completed. They're still ongoing, but we're both busy actually in, in different ways. So we haven't been able to. It's, it's one of those things that you need to have a private conversation with someone, like really sit down and talk about it. And that hasn't been uh, decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the moment. Um, but I would like to make that very clear that while I defend him in certain area, you have to be wary of everything. Not, you cannot accept everything that he says, especially when it comes to uh, rumors and spreading information about the kingdom or, or the United Arab Emirates or other countries where there's uh, where there are Muslims in charge, uh, whether they're the greatest Muslims or not. That is not the point of discussion. But we're very clear about not uh, passing a wholesale takfir on governments and people in charge because that's exactly what the Khawarij did. That's exactly the same uh, reasoning and the same justification and the same ideology of al Dhul Khuwaisira. The same exact logic uh, when they criticized the Prophet Sallallahu himself for not being just in the distribution of the war booty. So, you know, it's a very delicate matter and it's a fine line between guidance and misguidance, to be honest with you, in that aspect. Um, and so uh, there goes my, my uh, public uh, announcement regarding the subject. Uh, uh, brother Gabriel also is a wonderful brother. Uh, and he's, uh, again, another uh, strong uh, contender to the feminists and the liberalists and, uh, liberalists and those people. But also, I've, I've uh, shared with him multiple times certain concerns I have about certain things that he posts um, that could be posted or could be tailored better before they go out to the public or the, you know, hosting a female, uh, you know, on, on a hosting a female in a dawah uh, scene, in a dawah, uh, you know, what you might call it, lecture or talk. I, I, I don't know any, any scholar from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah who will allow you to have a female with you um, on, on a YouTube uh, talk. I'm not talking about someone's personal life where they've, they've had to do something as part of work. That's, that would be his business. If it's his personal life, he does that. That's none of my business. But I'm talking in terms of da'wah and what goes out to the people willingly by the person, by choice, uh, by decision, by their own decision. Then that's something to be concerned about. I hope uh, that he's aware of that. And also the general concept of the means justifying, uh, the ends justifying the means. Meaning in order to deliver a message, I will, I will overlook certain violations uh, and, and engage in them uh, 
and confuse the Muslims also just so that I can make uh, this message clear. No, it just doesn't work this way. They have to be a lot more sacrifice that has to be done. When you want to post a video, you have to remove music in the background. You have to blur if there are any women and the list goes on and on and on. Um, those are the things that I would like to say because people ask me about those two individuals in particular. And I owe it to the people to be transparent. And, you know, hey, uh, it's a tough world we're living in. You may lose friendships because of being honest or because of being genuine uh, or I try to be sincere. And that's that's fine. That's fine. You could live life on your own and you could survive on your own. And hey, uh, I, I actually don't care, nor should you. What matters is the truth. This is what I believe to be true. Uh, these are wonderful brothers with a lot of good to offer. But you as a listener, as an observer, you cannot just close your eyes and open your heart 100% and say, I'm taking in everything because everything that's coming from there is haq. No. And the same applies to me. If someone were to bring to your attention that I have certain issues here or there or whatever, and they're valid, they're valid criticism of me that I have not recanted, they have not uh, repented from, that I have not made clear that are wrong, then you should also be wary of those. And other people should make uh, public uh, discussions and people should warn against me in that area. So for example, if you see me one day uh, bring in a female and, and have a, a podcast with her, then those who are concerned about the deen should say, hey, hey, Abu Musab, salamat, ishfi, ishfi, ha, hey, kharabta, again, on my channel. Don't go to Samsung and get funny with me. Because that was work, it was, it was done in spite of me. But I'm talking about in my channel, on a da'wah, if you see me putting music in a video, you need to raise the flag. And when people want to listen to me, tell them, yo, this guy, okay, Aqidah, alhamdulillah, you can learn. But some of his videos are not appropriate. Maybe some of you don't like the editing. Some of you don't like the editing. You don't like the emojis. You don't like uh, whatever you like. That's fine. Wallahi, that's fine. And you, you should tell the person who asks you, do you think I should listen to this brother? Tell them explicitly what you think. If you have knowledge. Yes, the brother, I think he's okay in this regard. But I don't think the editing of the video is something that you should take seriously. Those clips he makes are just, just a waste of time. He's too much of a clown. He jokes too much. He laughs too much. Just be careful. That. No problem. Wallahi, I will not be upset with you. Because to, you're, you're giving a sincere advice to others about what you find to be problematic. Okay? And that's how they, and there should be no hard feelings. There should be no hard feelings. There should be, okay, yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I respect that. It's subjective. I respect that. And that's how da'wah can be successful. When we differ, but we differ uh, uh, in a civilized manner. But this is with people that are generally, fundamentally upon the sunnah. When it comes to evil, misguided people, there's only cutthroat approach. Because those people are doing so much damage that you trying to now tickle them and, and pat them on the back, it, it's just making it far worse. Somebody has to be like, yo, these dudes off the manhaj, off the list, of the people you can listen to entirely because you don't even know where the good is anymore. There's so much evil that they put out to the world. You have to look hard for the good. And that's not how it's supposed to work. Woo! What a burden of the shoulder.